Let's see now what uh, you need to do if you would like to use Xutils MakeMaker. You need to create a makefile PL file. This is a standard file. And this is the basic content of that file. So you start with use strict and use warnings. Then you tell uh, what is the minimum version of Perl you require this to, to run. This is a good idea to start here at the, at, as early as possible. Then you load the module, Xutils MakeMaker itself, and code the right makefile function of it, it exports that function, and it, you, it gets a, a set of key value uh, parameters. So the first one is the name of the application, I just choose, chose here APP, but you would put here the name of your application. Then it, you tell it where to take the version number from, so the version number is located in this uh, module, the APPPM, this is the main module usually of your application. Then the prereq PM is the key that's used to map the the, uh, the key the, the set of key value pairs of the required modules so the name of the module that you require and the minimum version number that you require and here i need moose at 0 0.24 and file base name which is a standard module i still uh, still put it here in order to make it clear that we need it i don't put any version number i assume that the one that is coming with this module or this uh, version of Perl or a later version of Perl is good enough already. Then there are a couple of modules that are needed only to install your module. So these are needed for your runtime, but this test more in this example only needed for testing the module just before installation. So systems that uh, separate these things can know that this is not need to needed uh, in the list of prerequisites. And then if you have some uh, scripts that you would like to install, then you list them here in the, uh, under exe files. And that's it.